Hey, hey, what's going on? It's time for Rick and Tom's Views. Uh, open topics. Tonight is daily news. Everybody loves the daily news. Hey, we were going to have this really hot chick come in here and do this, but she chickened out. Thanks, Irma. All right, you got a call out. Anyway, um, if there's any hot chicks in the St. Louis area that want to do opening lines for us, tweet us on our Twitter account, Rick and Tom's Views. Uh, we need an introduction, girl. Okay, because apparently I'm not good looking enough. Right? All right, daily news, because people love the daily news, right? They want to know about stupid people. All right. I'm going to make this real simple on one of them. This guy in Virginia. He gets pulled over with a trash bag full of marijuana. He tells the cops, here's my lawn clippings. Really, my lawn clippings. That's all I'm going to touch on that one. I'm not even going to acknowledge that one anymore. All right, this is a good one. This is a woman in Georgia. She's 35 years old, and her hair is stringy. She's got a rattlegate fence for teeth. She is pissed off. Okay? She lives with her mom. She lives with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend apparently did not want to have sex with this Skeletor. I will call her Skeletor. So she goes out drinking. She's mad as... She comes back mad as hell. At 11.30 night, she wakes him up. Get up! Before you go work for the city or the trash truck, I'm mad because you didn't screw me earlier tonight. She beats his ass because he didn't screw her. And if you look this up online, you see the picture? I would not screw her with my enemy's dick. This woman is hideous. Right? I would bang... The Wizard of Oz witch before I banged her. Okay? And that's with full makeup and nose. And holding the dog, too, trying to turn me on. <laughs> Ride the bike, bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> it gets better. Not only is she pissed off at the old man because he wouldn't bang her, mom comes in, because that's who they live with in mom's house. She comes in, break it out, break it out. We don't want you to be fighting. She punches her mom in the eye. Gives her a black eye. So then the police show up. And this is the best part. He's hostile with them. Fuck off me. I ain't got no I ain't got no dick. She threatens to run over the police officer with her kid's stroller. You ever been run over by a stroller? Tragic. It can leave a bad scratch on the back of your, you know, back of your heel. Bruise if they're cruising like downhill. <laughs> they'll run over you with my stroller. Page two. In Texas, a 19-year-old boy is working late in a pizza place. I'm not going to name it. I'm being nice tonight. Alright? He's working at the pizza place. Guy calls in late. Now, I don't understand this because he says he calls in, but the guy's there. Okay? So, let's go with... I, I think it was the guy came in late, right before closing. Or his pizza. Well, this guy... <laughs> this kid. This kid. This is my kind of kid, actually. He puts his balls in this guy's pizza. It's not hot yet because you don't want to sizzle the balls. It's just cold pizza. He's working on the pizza. Technically, the guy ordered extra cheese. So he got Fermundo cheese. <laughs> you can say what kind of cheese. He ordered extra cheese. He got Fermundo cheese, right? So this 19-year-old, the guy comes in right before closing, and because he ordered... Right before closing, he wanted to get out of there. And you should see the picture of this guy. I mean, he had some shit to do. He probably had like 20, 30 babes. No. Probably had a sheep waiting tied up in his basement before him. That's about it. So, he sticks his balls in this guy's pizza. Now, this genius did not 
do this in the back room. He just did it right out there in the open with the customer watching. The customer goes, uh, excuse me. I just seen you put your balls on my pizza. And he, goes, uh, 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 uh. and he tells him, he goes, how old are you? And he's like, 19. And he goes, don't you think you're old enough to know not to put balls in somebody's food? And he goes, yeah. So the next, <laughs> he didn't want it, of course. And he's like, and he even tells the guy, sorry, man. That was stupid. That was stupid. He's admitting his stupidity. He's admitting his stupidity. Now they got a Jew walking into the gas chamber in World War II. You know what? I'm a Jew. I'm going to head on in there and take a hot bath. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to sidetrack for a second. And me and Rick were sitting down talking one day. And we're like, natural selection is a bitch. You know how animals are ate because they're food. You know, a rabbit is food to the wolf. The wolf is food to the tiger. Car companies have protected people from crashes. You know, it used to be people go through the windshield. Now we got safe seat belt laws. Drunk drivers are being pulled over all the time. You know, back in 1976, your ass was drunk as hell unless you, you know, drove it into a you know, school bus full of nuns, you were cool. Now you got airbags, safety struts, all this mess. Natural selection is a bitch. So God has to find a way to weed you out. So he does, you know, stupid shit. He makes people do stupid shit. Maybe that's why ISIS is around. They're not, you know, they're Allah. Maybe it's just God's anti-terror group. To eliminate stupid people. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some photos over in fucking a uh, hostile environment. You get your head cut off. Because you were stupid enough to go take a pictures in an environment where they kill people. I just want to take pictures. I'm going to come back. And... Hmm. They blow up buildings. Maybe it was full of people that were stupid. You ever think about that? The guy that went to Colorado shot the Batman movie at midnight. Killed 12 people. How many CEOs do you think was in that theater at 12 o'clock at night watching Batman? No. Maybe it's God's way of processing the idiots since the car companies will not let us weed them out anymore. Did you ride a helmet when you were a kid? I didn't. Hell, I hit the back of a bike about damn near busting my balls on the handlebars. I have a helmet on now. My baby's mama, who I can't even talk to, because she's stupider than stupid, gets on my ass because I let my daughter ride a scooter. Right? A hand foot scooter without a helmet. I got two kids over 21. I'm batting. 500 minimum bad 600 666 three kids I'm about 500 I'm cool I'm good we just play hard we just have big wheels we did jump with big wheels now people have shit fits all right back to my original stuff a guy put balls in a pizza I know I get sidetracked he put the balls in the pizza Guy said, "You know better." Yeah, I know better. I was just stupid. The next day, the guy calls the cops, calls the manager. Cops come. Manager talks to him. He says, "Yeah, I know I shouldn't have done that." Forensic lab says, "You know what? You get sweat on your balls. Talk about sweaty balls. I know a girl that used to get off on licking my balls. Boy, she reads this report. I'm screwed." I don't date her anymore, so I'm not screwed. The next guy is. Anyway, you get fetal matter on your balls because you sweat and it's close to your butt. I guess the older you get, the closer the butt it gets because the hang lower. I don't know. So, <laughs> that is the extreme matter of 
for Mundo Cheese. He ordered extra cheese. He got extra cheese. Page three. This one's going to be a quick one because we're at our 10 minute mark. I like to keep it 10 minute. A Pennsylvania man was found drunk and naked in a pig barn. When caught, he said, I like pigs. Dude, date big girls. They try harder. They do. They try harder. I'm not a whaler. I got to admit, I'm not a whaler. I like my girls. A little smaller. I don't like straw houses. Even the three little pigs will tell you. If you're going to spend any time in it, make it out of brick. Don't make it out of straw. So I don't like pick thin skin girls. I like a little meat. I like a woman with curves. I don't fight out of my fight class. In other words, I don't fight up out of my fight class. I'm 225. You're 325. I'm not taking that fight because I'll get my ass kicked. Alright? So, if you like hogs, go hogging. Don't mess with animals. Alright? He caught naked and drunk. You know what he was drinking? You know what he was drinking? This is the best part. He's drinking ham's beer. <laughs> you can't make that shit up. He's drinking ham's beer. A six pack now, mine. Drunk all six pack. Yeah, six packs, four play for my ass. So, anywho, he's in this guy's barn, naked, on hands beer, drinking. Cops come. They're gonna arrest him for what? Indecent exposure, drunkenness. Guess what else they got him on? Trespassing. You know why? Because back in 2011, he'd been on this property before. He likes these pigs. He met them. He knows them. They know what he likes. <laughs> Fucking freak. Gotta love it. Can't make this shit up. Alright. Be good to each other. Peace out. Tweet us at Rick and Tom's Views. Good night.